than mediocre. To me, being okay at something is like my biggest nightmare. I draw inspiration from so many things that don't have anything to do with dance. If Wile E. Coyote is out on the cloud and it disappears and he touches around him where there's no cloud and is trying to feel for the floor, that's a concept that maybe I can use and adapt to a dance where maybe someone's talking about that the floor fell out from under them. All the boys and the girl and them. Come yes or no? The music I play, no? You wanna let go? You wanna free yourself, you know? So hold, hold on and enjoy the ride. Bad man want good girl. Good girl want bad man. Bad man want good girl. Good girl want bad man. different or just weird. <laughs> At first when I was younger, I would really struggle with it because I didn't understand how there wasn't a place for what I was doing. And then kind of when I got a little bit older, my mindset was that when people told me that it wasn't really gonna work out, I just didn't believe them. And I would just say, well, why not? going to conventions and feeling the sense that certain choreographers didn't like the way I danced or didn't buy any hype around me. And I remember going home and being really determined to win those choreographers over. And when I got a little bit older, I understood that some people didn't like me because my dancing wasn't up to par, that they just didn't like me. And that was a big lesson that I had to learn of that I wasn't gonna always win everybody over and not everybody was gonna like my art. And that was a big turning point for me when I realized it's okay as long as I, I know that I'm going about it with integrity and it's something that I'm working really genuinely hard on and believe in. People are gonna either like it or not like it and that's kind of up to them. When I'm dancing, that's like one of the only times in my life that I'm not really thinking about anything. And I'm just going and moving forward through time. As choreographers and dancers, we need to be taking bigger risks. I think that there's so much more to what we do. It's really limitless, it's movement. Anything that is movement can be choreographed. And if you're a choreographer, you can choreograph any movement. When we start seeing dancers as household names, when you start having dancers brought on late night shows, when dancers are touring the world as their own headlining act, 
uh, when dancers are leads in major movies that don't have anything to do with dance, just like every other artist and every other art form does, that's when I'm gonna be really happy.